Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is a continuation of our Angular Material full tutorial series with live examples. In today's episode, we will learn how to use Angular Material chips. We have covered in previous episodes how to install Angular Material, how to use different components like cards, buttons, badges, etc. Today we will learn how to use Angular Material chips. Before we get started with practical, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Also, if you have any technical doubts, queries, please drop them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you for free. Let's get started with this tutorial. So I have my application which is fired up. Let me show you the output so far. So in the, in the previous applications, we learned how to build select, how to use material card, buttons, icons. Today we will use how to use material chips. Let's get started. So the first thing you do is in your app module, you need to include the chip module. So it's called mat chips module. We need to include this in our app module or you can have all the modules in one place like this and then import the module itself. That is what I have done. I have included all the mat material modules in one module and then I have imported that in my ng module here in imports. Let's get started. Once you have imported, you need to set, I'm using mat cart so I can display it inside one and we'll use something called mat chip list first. This is where it will hold all our material chips and then you can use, start using the tags. For example, like YouTube style, if I say arc, tutorials is one tag similarly I can say angular will be another keyword I'll say free help so we have added three tags or three chips inside a mat chip list and added them into a mat card let's see the output so we see here these are material chips that we are displaying in our application. Now we want one of these chips to be highlighted or selected. So we can always add something like color equal to primary. So this will give us the primary background color and I'm adding the tag selected. So this will highlight the selected chip like this. You can again customize by either giving accent. This is also fine. So this is how we can use angular material chips just like YouTube style tags. This is very simple. Give it a try. Let me know if you have any issues or any queries. I'll be happy to help you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Drop in your comments, questions or technical doubts. I'll help you for free. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.